Back now with that ABC News exclusive, a stunt woman who suffered a career-ending injury after an accident on the set of Resident Evil. Well, she is now telling her story as she sues the film's producers. Amy's here with that for us. Good morning, Amy. Hey, Robin. Good morning to you. The Resident Evil franchise has grossed over a billion dollars globally. And this morning, a stunt double from the film says the company placed profits over safety and that she paid the ultimate price. She's performed in some of the biggest blockbusters of the decade, like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, doubled for Rosie Huntington Whitley in Mad Max Fury Road, and this is her flying through the air with Thor and Captain America in Avengers Age of Ultron. You can't save them all. But this morning, stunt performer Olivia Jackson is speaking out exclusively to ABC News, suing Resident Evil producers after she lost an arm in what she describes as a haphazardly planned stunt gone terribly wrong. It's something you always hear happening to someone else and then you think, oh dear, that's horrible, but you never think it's going to be you. Jackson was doubling for Mila Jovovich's character in Resident Evil, the final chapter, when she says she suffered a horrific onset injury. According to the lawsuit, Jackson was scheduled to shoot a fight scene in September of 2015, but at the last minute, producers switched to a dangerous and technically complex motorcycle scene, which involved her speeding toward a camera. She says the camera was supposed to move before she reached it, but it didn't lift in time, and Jackson collided with the camera at full speed. Um, and the next thing I remember, I woke up three weeks later after being in a coma um, and then saw my family. Sorry. Sorry. Jackson was in a coma for 17 days, her left arm amputated, and she suffered numerous other injuries, including spinal fractures and brain bleeds. When I came out of the coma, I wasn't exactly sure of all my injuries. I don't think anybody had the heart to tell me that there was no chance of making it better. Jackson's husband, who is also a stunt performer, says he will never forget the moment he learned about his wife's accident. Nothing prepares you for something like that. Uh, you know, you've gone from one world to the polar opposite. Uh, in, in, a, in a split second. In her lawsuit, Jackson alleges that before she signed on to the film, the movie's producers misled her into believing that their insurance would cover any potential injuries sustained on the job. She says that after the accident, they promised to provide full financial support of all medical expenses, but later reneged and only paid a small fraction. If I knew that there was limited insurance or no insurance, I would definitely not have taken the job. Now she and her attorneys are calling for change in Hollywood, hoping her loss will prevent others from experiencing tragedy. I'd love to make everybody aware of the situations like this um, so that they can take better care of themselves again, so th that it doesn't happen again. Now Jackson is seeking unspecified damages and is asking for a jury trial. ABC News has reached out to the defendants several times for comment. We have not heard back from them yet, though, and your heart just breaks Absolutely. hearing what happened to her. They're a billion-dollar franchise. Right, and I think the, they paid around $33,000, mm. and obviously the medical bills were greater. It's kind of telling they didn't respond. Mm. Yeah. yeah, certainly. All right, thanks, Amy. Thank you, Amy. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.